Hey everybody, it's cold, and I'm back with uh, our little game of Let's Play Third Age Total War. Um, I'm having a really good time. Thank you for all the comments, guys. Uh, some really helpful ones. Uh, I've had also had a couple of emails saying, you know, alternative strategies I should possibly take, and um, I just want to go over right now what I'm going to try to achieve. I've got the morning free, and I've got a nice big cup of coffee with me. Hold on. And, um, yeah, so we're going to have a good time. Anyway, so first off, one of the first things I would suggest is that I use this lake to my advantage. Uh, you know, they have very little troops stationed, here at least. So that means if I can get some of my troops and take both of these cities, that's denying them of two cities already. Then, if we have that in effect, we can use these two I have to take out and that leaves our capital after that there's a one down here which I found on a, a map of this area um, for other things getting up our economy and tax rates uh, has actually helped but apparently you need to what is it called you need to lower the tax rate to make them grow a lot better especially in this modification and that's about it. So for right now, the main thing I'm worried about is this assault. We don't have that much defending this castle. In fact, we've got virtually nothing. Yes, my lord. We don't have a guy to back up. There will be much and he definitely has enough to take us. So we're most likely not going to be able to defend this. So we're going to have to call him back in the rein reinforcements, lord, and that's going to have to be these guys which will be here in about two turns. So even if he captures it in two turns, he won't be able to produce, and by the third turn I'll be able to siege. And then move on from there. Uh, over here we have... Oh, I forgot the thing. So let's just start getting in here. Let's retrain these guys. This place is actually pretty healthy, to be honest. They've got you know, two or three units which need some new replenishment. Yeah, those guys can be mixed up. But, in all honesty, they're not too bad at We did lose this guy down here, but you can't win everything. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. So I'm going to need someone to send down here. Uh, heavy infantry, heavy infantry, essentially. All right. That's it for this turn. Uh, about the diplomatic side of things, trade rounds and whatnot, yeah, I'm sure it's effective, I'm just not too sure how effective. Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to see if we can pull this off. I severely doubt it. Unless their archers come up the towers. Well, the one thing I would love... Oh no, because they've got a battering ram, their heavy cavalry will come in. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose, but... You know, you never know. Let's start deployment. Units await my orders. So they have... Literally some ladders where their... Missile cavalry... They only have missile cavalry, actually. Archers. Yeah, those are my archers, and... This will be my heavy infantry. And the heavy infantry is gonna have to go. Well, first I'm gonna take care of the archers. I'm gonna go over right here. I know they can't be attacked, but I'm gonna get rid of these guys. As soon as the ladder is hit, I'm gonna move my archers back to right against this wall here. That burns, they are so out of luck, I swear. How are they doing with these guys? Still 46. He's like medium infantry. I mean, they're wearing leather, helmets, and all that jazz. They definitely shouldn't be any match for my heavy infantry, though. Getting the ladders up. So what I'm gonna do is move my dudes over yonder. If they are expected command, in fact, 
It's but I find it weird how they all work. kind of turn at the same time. Yeah, I'm really hoping in Shogun too that they uh, do this a lot more fluidly. Yeah, come on guys. You really want to be moving up pretty soon. They're coming up the ladders. out of there. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna tell you to go over here. Maybe you'll listen to that. I think there wasn't enough room, so they didn't listen. Yeah, looks like it was a problem. So they do have archers on the walls. I'm not too worried about archers on the walls, because there is a defensive uh, buff you get for being behind these things, but this is what I'm worried about. They've got 11 light infantry, so that's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about when they break in. I'm really hoping that, um, my archers, please tell me they're somewhere useful. They're really not. <laughs> Come on, guys. I really need you to start shooting these guys. Can you? Can you do that for me? No, you can't, can you? Although, this missile cavalry should be pretty much outclassed. Uh, come on, get up here. They just don't want to move, I think. I think they like getting killed. That's fine. Just get up to where you were. Maybe they'll like that. And again, they're standing around very, you know, casually. The enemy's ram has yeah. breached the gates! I was hoping for these guys to be done by this time, but obviously not. I need to send my cavalry out to block this passage to buy me time. Because on this castle, we have a little defense, which is uh, these oiling things. And they will kill stuff very easily. And I don't think... Yeah, these guys are retreating. I need these guys to double time it here. Archers, get your butt over there and shoot that. Come on, I want this. Yes, burn them. Burn them! Come on, where's the cavalry? Where's my heavy infantry? So my heavy infantry is actually moving. I think I'm going to move my archers just to make a wall. Stopping. I need you to guys attack. Oh come on. This is so painful to watch. With them just standing there. What are you doing? Go here. Go oh come on. You know what? Maybe if they I think th this formation thing is what? Our foolish general has thrown his life away. That's fine. That's he was a horse if we dude. Continue like this, we will smash the yes, we will. If our people get out the way, but apparently they really enjoyed not doing that. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're going to get back. If we actually get in position. If we would have been in position, we're going to be fine. But really, these dudes are so stupid. Stupid! I mean, the AI it needs a serious amount of work. I'm not kidding, this is just epic silly. Well, it looks like we did hold the line. If we continue like happy. this, we will smash the enemy. How you can tell who the general is? I think it's, he's got more hair, or something like that. Huh? What are they? They really are jigging around. I don't know why. I don't. Th I think in towns they have a real problem with uh. 
like hitboxes or something. Because they're jigging back and forth really badly. Yeah, look. I mean, I'm not going to need them, thank goodness, but if I had needed them, you know, it would have been a travesty. Travesty. Because they are really not enjoying anything. Enjoying running around doing nothing, I suppose, but whatever. Oh, come on, I guess I should die. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Behold how our, our foe is heroic victory. Vanquished. Nice. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious. Our most glorious victory, no. It was a very good victory, and it saved us a whole bunch of units trying to ca uh, capture a castle. No. Ah! I'll admit that. Yes, my lord. Yes. Making camp here. My guy there. I mean, he's out of range. I'm actually very tempted to uh, move out. Try and go here anyway. Just besiege them. Because that will force one of their armies to come back at least, right? Uh, let's get you in here. I need to recruit some more troops. Pikey, swords, arrows. There you go. Yes, uh, my lord. That's about it. There we go. We must make a stand. Uh, we have a It's okay. Your orders, my lord. I'll beseech these guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Maintain siege. Yes. I really don't care about my relations with them. I'm pretty sure by now we've determined that extinction is the only suitable way of, you know, enjoying our non-peaceful coexistence. Oh, uh, yeah. Dear, no. Attacks me. See, it's only about a hundred I'm losing, and they're always going to be growing, so I'm going to leave it like that. There's not much else I can do. How's my diplomat? Didn't I send him down to Isengard or something? Yeah. Yes, my lord. Uh, I've got the elf dudes. I've got what do you see how Gondor is doing. I really would love to for them, you know, some yes. of the good factions to survive, but I'm just not sure if it's gonna happen. Yeah, Gondor is just yeah. And look, it's the major battle we had. Uh dwarves. Aren't faring so well. Who's the major player that's bumping up the scoreline that much? And why couldn't it be a good guy? Yeah. Like, um, like I said, it may still be a prudent idea to try and capture these two places, because right now they're just making money for these people and producing units. And if I can get them, you know, they only have two production centers left and then that one city, so even if they do muster an army, I should just be able to outmass their production at that point. Well, it's going to take a while to get to there. Remember, yeah, they're just besieging. Yes, my lord. I'm just gonna attack. Really? I still want to auto battle, but I know you guys are trying to so boring. <laughs> 